throwing is getting a piece of clay, which is raw and soft, putting it on a wheel that is spinning, and you, what you do is uh, center the clay best you can. You open the clay up, and you pull it into a cylinder. And from that cylinder, you can go many ways, whether it be a vase, a bowl, a, a jar, a cup. I've been teaching pottery, throwing specifically, in the craft studio for eight years. Well, what I find uh, intriguing is that it, it helps my own work because I'm forced to start over each time I start a class and the fundamentals of throwing, centering, etc. And that really helps me because over time you can become just sort of drift away from the essentials of throwing which are really important to maintain your active throwing life. You have to really work hard at least eight to ten hours after class. The more time you put in to defining this craft that you're trying to trying to work at, the more hours you can put in, the better results you'll have. If you just come to the class once a week, you won't advance very far. It's something you really have to work at, just like anything else. It's pretty intense because people are really involved in trying to learn how to center the clay, which is the hardest thing. The next hardest thing is to make a cylinder. But once you're able to make that cylinder after having centered the clay, that's your passport to making any form, whether it's a bowl, a cup, a vase, a bottle, a teapot. That, that cylinder can become anything once you've mastered it. It's probably the last thing you can make with your hands anymore uh, as technology has evolved. I mean, you can get a 3D program or a machine to make or reproduce an object, but there's nothing like the hands as far as the response, the quickness, the change that you can do with your hands. There's nothing near what hands can do. They're the ultimate tools.